Has anybody watched the Patreon only video that I just uploaded two days ago? The next phase of this bathroom remodel is to take this slab of quartz, cut it down to a 36 inch vanity top, and undermount this brass, I think it's brass, cast brass sink underneath it. First, I have to make a template. I'm here. Um, the, the top is going to be cut so that it's mostly flush with this line here. Today's video sponsor is Viking War of Clans. Everybody's playing it. Vikings War of Clans was inspired by the famous strategy role-playing games of the 1990s. The things have changed though. The graphics that you can get on a cell phone are much better, as you can see, uh, than the 1990s video games. What makes Vikings World so addictive is that more than 20 million online players are constantly changing the way the game evolves by never-ending fights over resources, forging new alliances, and competing in live events. Now to support this channel, what you need to do is download Vikings War of Clans from the links in the description below. For both your, your iPhone and your Android, links are in the description. When you download it with my links, you get 200 gold coins and you get a free protective shield right from the get-go. You can look me and Polly up even though she's not very ferocious, and join our clan to kill lots of... One more thing, They're, they have a, uh, a contest, Vikings War of Clans, and you gotta go to their Instagram page to get the details. That link will also be in the description. We're giving away three DJI Spark drones and one DJI Phantom drone. So I'll be playing every night, shut that brain off, and entering that contest to try to win a drone. But I need to know where the outside of the sink is so when I undermount it I know where I can put my my faucet hole so the faucet hole is probably going to go in this little little dent right there what do you think of this style of sink I think it's kind of unique and it's going to look really cool on this white countertop Now, as you can probably tell, it, this isn't a full slab. This is a remnant. And it's going to be plenty big for, for what I need it for. It's got some scratches on it, though. Unfortunately, there are scratches on this front side here. And I've tried to clean them. I can easily catch my, my fingernail in them. So i got to cut a straight line. I'm going to have to cut all four sides of this thing, which I don't know not ideal let's put it that way well with a big bright light there and the bright white table everything else is kind of washed out but the important stuff is right here this is a wet circular saw that has the exact depth to cut through a three centimeter slab of stone, whether it's quartz or granite. I'm gonna use my uh, Profo Show earmuffs to protect my ears. It's much easier than granite, that's for sure. I did this at a factory. So this is the off cut. Uh, this side is dark so you can't see it, but I got an extremely bright light right there. You can see the saw marks, which is, is no big deal at all. I've got the polishing wheels to smooth that out and make that glass, but that is a perfect, perfect cut 
for for this this little workshop here now it's kind of a production it's really wet and messy but uh, that's one out of four cuts that came out really good and this is the most important cut because this is going to be the front edge uh, the back cut yeah I wouldn't even probably won't even polish the back side this is going right up against the wall and will get caulked in the two side cuts are are going to be visible but everything will get polished with a beveled edge on it well I got the front back cut now I'm taped off to cut the sides I'm probably going to measure one more time just to make sure that it's all right so this will be 36 inches and that would be from here to here well this is it much smaller easier to manage uh, this is the buffer that I'll be polishing the edges rounding over the edges I've got a whole set of um, diamond discs I guess that's what you call these all the way up to three three thousand I think there's like a four thousand in here but there it goes all the way up to an extreme fine that's beyond a number it just says buffer um, so I'm gonna start with the heavy grit first <laughs> This is a close-up with a lot of light and that's 36 grit across the face of that. There's still a little bit there that's got to get worked out. A little wobble there and a tiny little wobble right there. This is, uh, I don't know if I said it already, this is 30 grit. Yeah, I think I did say it, yeah, 30. I'm gonna give that, that edge off there. This is what it looks like after 50. You can still see, actually right in here, you can still see a little bit. I may work this area just a, a little bit more, but it's coming along quite quickly. This is the first time I've ever worked with a quartz slab. I've done a bit of work with granite slabs and this seems to be polishing a lot faster, a lot easier. Of course, it's not a natural stone, it's man-made. So I uh, stopped polishing. It's super smooth and it's staying perfect. But no matter what RPM I ran this at and how much water I had flowing on this, the color of the disc was like, I don't know, sticking or staining the face of this quartz. So it's, it's like, it's ready to go. Um, I ordered some new discs and they should be here Friday but um, proof of concept I mean the side here is as smooth as the top and I'm really curious to those new discs how good they're gonna be because I still have a whole nother chunk that is somewhat scratched up and I may be able to polish all those scratches out if the new discs are as good as they say they are um, what you see here this is the glue surface that goes up from the bottom. Uh, this edge here is the edge of the sink, one of the many edges over there. Um, what I'm going to do is mark this inside edge here, and that's the part that's got to go. The part that you, you see here, this is where all the epoxy goes to glue that on. And I, I think I, I eyeballed it. I think it's on there mostly straight. Um, so yeah, I'm going to draw this out. And i got to cut this out. And I'm going to be using an angle grinder. And it's going to be a slow process. I'll try to take, you know, some good straight cuts. Kind of like that to get the bulk out. 
And there is just going to be a lot of time of me just with an angle grinder and a diamond blade just shaping this. Just chipping away at it uh, and then through going through all the polishing. It's going to take a lot of work. It's not going to be easy. But I kind of wanted a challenge and I accepted the, the challenge. <laughs> I guess that's what this has got a little wrinkle in it. Now if you're still with me, I'm going to start going over the tool that I used in this video. This one is a workforce. I've honestly never heard of it. I think I picked this up at a garage sale in 2008. It's exactly in 2008 when I got this. Um, I'm not sure if I went over it too much in the video. I don't think I did. Um, this end hooks up to a hose and you get one of those little stoppers that hooks on to the end of the hose. So there's the hose, the stopper, valve, and then this thing. And then it plugs in. I'm sure it's somehow grounded so that you don't electrocute yourself because water is spraying everywhere. I, I actually have another one of these, but I can't find it. I have a Makita that does the exact same thing, and I know it's somewhere in this mess of a workshop. But this here, I've used this to cut a lot of granite slabs. Um, what I have on there for a blade is the bl is a Black Widow diamond blade for cutting. You can cut everything from glass, tile, stone with this blade. I don't know if this, I mean this is an old tool. I bought it used. I'm not sure if you can get this brand, but I can tell you, let me see if I can see the horsepower on this, because this thing will go right straight through doesn't give a horsepower this one will go through three centimeter granite and three centimeter quartz like like nothing anybody know what this is this is uh, the closest living relative to a giraffe yep. things you learn here on the handyman channel please give this video a like subscribe check out the uh, the other videos in this series I'm gonna make a playlist called 1940s bathroom remodel I'm gonna put all of them in there from every part some titles may not you may not know like is this part of the bathroom or is this not part of the bathroom but you'll know when you go to that playlist that's it please leave your questions in the comment section and don't forget to go find me on the Vikings the handyman <laughs>